and welcome to another guitar lesson with me Rex Pearson from RexPearson.com hope you guys have had a great week as always and today we're going to be looking at a song lesson now for those people who commented on my previous video your comments are running along in the section below really appreciate the feedback guys I try and respond to as many as I can so keep them coming in really appreciate all the support it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's fantastic to see how many people are learning guitar and picking up a guitar each day very few chords but they are all bar chords because I don't teach with a capo because it's usually an easy way out, whereas I like to push uh, people who study with me. So, we're going to be looking at the chords, the right hand technique that's so important to getting this sound in right. I'm also going to show you how to improvise over the chord progression. So, let's get started then. I'm going to show you the chords. Let's get cracking. The first chord is a D minor chord. Now, you could play it as an open position, but it won't sound right with the descending bass line. Um, so, we're going to start it at the fifth fret. It's a five string, it's the A minor shape, um, starting at the fifth fret. So if you're having trouble with bar chords, remember check out my beginner course. The second chord starts at the third fret, and it's a C major chord. Now there's two ways to finger this. You can either use how I do, but some people don't like the spastic finger and sort of how it uh, kind of flips around on the strings. I bar with my little finger. Some people though, or most people I would say, prefer to use the 2nd, 3rd and 4th finger on the 5th frets, on the D, G and B strings, and then the 1st finger to bar. And then the 3rd chord is exactly the same, 2 frets down, so on the 1st fret, now this is the most difficult chord probably, because you're trying to get that bottom note out. I'm going to figure it out how I normally do, so I can get it much cleaner like that. Those are the 3 chords, so learn those first, and practice changing between all of them. Okay, so the next part is all to do with the right hand, the most difficult part. And now I recommend using finger pick, but you can play it with a plectrum or strum it using a similar sort of technique, but it won't sound quite the same. Now, you've got to line up your thumb on the A string, and you're ready on your D minor chord here. Bass note first, and then a flick with the fingers. Now it's important that the flick is very quick, very percussive, because the whole song is about dynamics, going from a soft, and then a hard strike with the fingers. Best to use the nails as you strike along the strings because you get a more percussive sound. Then it's the hard bit. Once you've done that strike, it moves your hand a bit out of position, so you need to line up with the, the thumb and hit the string again. Now I would sit there and I would practice this very slowly. The final thing that's important in this whole thing is you don't want all the strings to ring out all the time, especially on that strike, you want to deaden the strings. You can do that in two ways. You can either lift the left hand to stop the strings from ringing. You notice I lifted the strings up to stop it from ringing out, otherwise it would sound like this. You don't want it to ring out, you want it nice because if, or you can use the right hand, and when you do that strike, you just rest the hand on the strings. But that's quite difficult to then get the thumb to do that. So I would recommend muting with the left hand, which might be a new concept for you guys. Okay, final part to piece all this together. All we now have to do is move uh, between the two chords. Make sure that you practice that nice and slowly. And remember that when you're changing from one chord to the next, you only need to get the bass note in time, and then the chord can come slightly later, so you have an extra beat to line up the fingers ready for that stab. You have all that time before you need to do the stab on the chord, so don't try and make the chord shape straight away, don't rush it. Just try and get the bass note, then build the chord 
before the stab. And work on it nice and slowly, eventually you'll get that speed. Now that's basically it for all the verses. All the way through, through the verses. When it gets to the chorus, you then introduce that third chord. through it everything pretty much the same as long as you've put in the the time on the finger picking pattern at the beginning and you've worked on the chord changes that should be no more difficult to do the chorus than the rest of the tune and that's it guys that is all the chords now let me just show you the scale that you can use to improvise over this chord progression right now I'm going to teach you the minor scale in the fourth position uh, I'm just going to run through it and give you a couple of ideas of what you can do with this song to improvise over it in this position now it sounds like this and follow along with the diagram that's going to be showing over there. Now it's worth knowing it, ascending and descending. Now that's your root note on the fifth fret on the A string. Now when you're improvising, you want to try and start and end on your root notes, your Ds in this case. There's one here, there's one here on the seventh fret on the G string, and that's basically it for the scale shape. So when you're doing some improvising, finish on a D. idea you can do you can play along with the track then work out some ideas and experiment and just enjoy playing over a cool track with a cool cool progression so that's it guys that is the uh, song lesson those chords those scale shapes and a little bit of a bonus there so you can get more out of the lesson than just learning a song hope you enjoyed it um, and don't forget hit that subscribe button in the corner because that really helps me create more lessons the more members I've got the more subscribers the more I can create for you guys and the more content you guys get for free so I hope you enjoyed it, I'll see you next week, have fun practicing, I hope you pick up the guitar today, and I hope you practice this song with me. Hope you enjoyed it guys, see you next week.